everybody. It's Austin with a product review. I haven't done one of these in a while. This is of the Husky um, truck bed box. I don't know what the exact name of it is or anything like that. Um, got this at Home Depot for like $300. Not a bad little thing, but unfortunately this isn't a terribly positive review. Um, it does lock. It, comes, it will. Ha it has one lock, only one, but two handles. Um, the lock is on the driver's side, so that makes accessing it very easily or, or very easy. And you only need to pull one handle. But like I said, there's two. And here's all my crap all that in it. Like I said, pretty nice little thing. Uh, attaches to your bed of the truck with a, it, it's a bolt with like a little hook on the end. And it goes on the inside of here, so not moving at all. Um, and I got the, the black one. I kind of wish I had got the silver one, but, you know, it doesn't make any difference. It's for lugging tools and work and crap. Anyway. Enough with the positive, let's start with the negative. Well, actually one more positive. It does have weather shipping, so I'm assuming it's probably pretty waterproof, um, as far as rain goes anyway. Anyway, and oh, it has right there where my gloves and tape measure and um, duct tape is, there's a tray that slides on its... It's a rail underneath this, and it slides in and out. You can, you know, put it on either side, and it's got this part has little holes. As you can see, I put a bungee cord to hold the milk crate, which holds the toolbox, so nothing's sliding around when I'm driving. Uh, you can put screwdrivers in it, like I did over there. Um, that tray has like three separated compartments. Um, and yeah, anyway, it, as you guys saw when I opened it, it, it will spring open by itself. And anyway, that's about it for positive. Let's go for the negatives. This latch right here uh, came bent, so it did not want to close. As you can see by the marring here, it was hitting on something on the locking mechanism. Um, both of these were loose. That one's still probably loose. That one wasn't hitting though. The other problem is the locking mechanism. This part right here, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this through the camera. This part right here did not look like this at all. It was much wider. I ground this part to an angle so it, it could lock and then I took uh, this this is how how it locks I took this because it, it was like you know this all the way around I just put a an edge on it so that it can lock more easily because it and it still takes quite a bit of force I'm worried about snapping a key but before, because this isn't under spring tension, this this will just flop around. So and now, even if it's back here, it'll get shifted up. So anyway, that's like the only negative I had. I have um, it doesn't want to close very easily though. But now, as you can see, it still takes quite a bit of force, way more than I'd like, but it locks, it's not coming loose, yeah. it's pretty good, it's fairly solid. Standing on it, on it, it's not bending in. 
three hundred dollars. I think it's a pretty, pretty good little bed, bed box. Oh, and by the way, the the paint's not terribly good on the mounting screws. The tool I was using scratched the paint pretty easily. But that's it, the Husky bed box. And that's about all I gotta say. Have a good day, guys.